120 bulbs still to go in this box. It's a new day. I kind of got rained out yesterday. Today is a much better day for planting. So my next plan for the rest of these boxes is just to do them in groupings of I think six. So this box has six different varieties of tulips in them. So I'll do one tulip of each variety sort of in just clumps along this uh, garden section here. 120 bulbs still to go in this box. So I'll just start grouping them in groups of six, one of each variety, and we'll spread them out over the garden. That is 120 bulbs in the ground so far. Exotic Elegance Tulips. I'll post a picture of what uh, what colors these arrangements look like. They're gorgeous. They've got a black or a dark, dark, dark purple. Lots of purples and whites. And I did 120 bulbs. So that's 20 holes, six bulbs in each, one of each variety. We'll see how they germinate in the spring. Um, if I need to, I'll replace and fill in the gaps next fall. It's kind of hard to tell in the end of the season what area your spring garden is going to have. I cut back as much as I could of the summer growth so I'll have an idea of what it's going to look like in the spring. It is pretty empty in the spring but I've concentrated most of the tulips around the center rock and then did the clumps of this variety around out from there. I still have 140 bulbs to plant of mostly daffodils, some more alliums, crocuses, and the little the, the little grape flowers. I'll have to look up the name of those. Anyways, and uh, we wait for spring to see if any of these will grow. I'll show you quickly what all these holes look like with the bulbs in them before I get them covered up. And there you go. You can see my little groupings in each one of the holes. Six bulbs in each, and they're scattered around the edge of this rock. So on the edge of the rock were the first planting of tulips. So there's 120 tulip bulbs around the rock in a border with alliums. I did do two sections of bulbs back here, and then there's a section over on this side and then they continue. These are peonies. 
that I just started this year. So hopefully by next year, they'll get some growth. Still don't know if I'll have flowers on the peonies next year, but uh, left some space for those. And then continued up towards the front and in around the hostas and one little bunch over here towards the edge. Now I will cut some netting. I'm gonna cover each one of these holes with um, just some of this bird netting that I have. I just have it laid out over here. So I'll cut some bird netting and place them over the holes and then we'll cover them with dirt and I'll start, to, I'll probably start mulching. But that is the bulb planting 2020 so far. Startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. So for this section over here at the front of the house, it's the other side of the doorway. So that's our front entrance. So left of the front entrance is where I think I'm going to put this collection of the deer resistant bulbs that I got. There's 140 bulbs in this collection and I think I'm going to arrange them kind of as it suggests in the photo. They all do have their uh, height on the packages in inches so I'll so I'm going to kind of line out the bulbs and uh, work with this collection and keep them all sort of organized in this section and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to springtime to see how all these bulbs turn out Well, I've got them all organized here in the garden. It's kind of hard to tell what they're going to be like when they're just kind of in plastic bags. So I've gone by the recommendation on the inches of growth on the packages, starting with the tall stuff at the back, which will be the large purple alliums, and then they'll drop down to a yellow and white iris. From there, your classic yellow and white daffodils. And then along the front, I've kept the smaller stuff. So your, your small classic spring blooms, uh, mascari, dwarf iris, uh, also a smaller allium, which is more like a teardrop. It's a nice pink color. And right down to the Chinoa docks or Belzee called Glory of Snow. So that's a little yellow flower that I'm gonna fill in the corner here at the front. It stays about four inches, I think it said, and then some purples and some whites and yellows and uh, the nice big alliums in the background. So let's get planting. Wow, look at the size of these bulbs. These are the Solomon daffodils. Those are huge. Need the big guns for these. This is a uh, just a handheld bulb planter that I'm gonna use to get these down to the, to the right depth that they need to be. great. So you just push it into the ground and dig out your hole. When you pull it out, dirt stays in the planter. You put your bulb in and you shake the dirt back down over top. Great little bulb planter.
Well, I think I did it. I have planted the front garden with spring bulbs. Now we just have to wait for them to germinate and grow in the spring. I'll be anxious to see how many of them actually do come up and what they're going to look like. So I started off with the three boxes that I ordered from Costco. And total, I think there were 360 bulbs out of the three boxes. So I have accomplished that. I've gotten them all planted and all in the garden. I still have more bulbs left and I think I'm gonna start putting those in the back garden. But for now, I've got the front garden finished. I put a layer of mulch down just to tidy it up and uh, discourage any squirrels from finding any of these bulbs. I hope the bird netting helps. I did put that down over top of all of the bulbs, but overall I think it was a successful day and I'm excited to see how all these spring bulbs turn out. I'll definitely give you an update in the spring and we'll eagerly be watching to see what comes up and what blooms when and Hopefully we'll have a great show of color in the spring. Thanks for watching. Bye. A bigger scale the world in hand.